this one I'm pretty excited about. Let me open this first. Can't do it with two hands. Sorry, can do it with two hands. Can't do it with one hand. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been so long since my last video, but I had to have an emergency appendectomy and that's put me out of action. So even today I can't continue with the poor 15th floor. Um, the weather's shit today anyway, so I wouldn't be able to wheel it out and get some nice heat on it. But uh, I can't wheel it out because I'm not allowed to move anything over five kilos for the next four more weeks. So it's gonna be a little while, but I've got a few other updates. I've got this welded on. So instead of sticking out, this is the intake pipe that sits here instead of having the part that was sticking out straight before it's on a right angle now so i'll be able to tuck this wire in so let's get fitting oil dipstick because some awkward somewhere along the way oh yeah, it's not um, in one of the workshops decided that they wanted it what a bunch of fuckwits. Looks good there, doesn't it? And there's oil in there too. Gotta keep some oil in there. Alright, perfect. Actually, it looks a bit shit, so what I might do is just tape up the ends and just spray it with a bit of wrinkle coat and see how well it bonds with the rest of it. But, um,. Just to tidy it up a little bit so it doesn't look so um, cruddy. So while I wait for that to dry, what I'm going to do is test fit the radiator. I had one of my viewers asking what I'm doing for radiator hoses and was there room with the bottom hose and the alternator so I'll move some of this stuff out of the way the wiring just so I can get in there but um I've got a hose that goes basically like from here down and then it goes into the attachment down the bottom there so this I got fabricated for me this is the top hose and it just sits around the uh, distributor can't even remember what it's called yeah the distributor uh, eventually I'm going to get a crank angle sensor fitted but for the moment I just don't want to have any more trouble so I'll run with that which is the stock item crank angle sen sensor later when I put bigger cams in uh, but just to get it running I leave that so this goes right around it and yeah it's been fab so it's not really a great example um, for the top one but the bottom one was the problem that he had so the hose that I'm using. Oh, I can't even see Hyundai. Something, something, 2.5 litre four cylinder, 16 valve, double overhead cam diesel. So, upper radiator hose, but it seems to fit for the bottom. Definitely say it's very close to the radiator there. Uh, let's see how it fits with the radiator in. One thing I also want to mention is my radiator sits flush against this so most like this has all been cut out most people probably have the radiator support here and the radiator sits back behind it so it'll be even tighter so I, actually I've got a bit more room here than most people probably do but let the dump truck just go past Yeah, you can see down there it's definitely pretty tight. Move some of these hoses out of the way. From there down to there, so I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of trimming on that current hose that I got. Let's see how we can fit it in. Just had a glance at this, I'm thinking I'll probably need to trim that off, but I'll try it first. Okay, I took out the airbox for a bit more visibility. So 
Let's see what we can try and conjure up here. Frankly, I think this is going to fit, but because I'm, because I can't use my stomach muscles at the moment, at all. Like, pretty um, pretty limited in what I can do. I can't fucking squeeze this thing on. This going out a bit is a bit annoying, um, but I wonder if I cut, if I trim it, will it be too low? Sorry, will it be too short then? So that's what I'm worried about there. Could always get a connector, like a plastic connector that will just, an elbow or something, and then be able to put on a little bit at the bottom. Because um, right now it's not touching the alternator even though it's close, but when I try to put it on, it's touching a little bit, but I'm sure once it slides over, it wouldn't be touching the alternator anymore. So it's not the ideal shape, but it's not too bad. I think, but yeah, it's very hard to actually uh, slip it on like I want to because, yeah, I said, just can really feel it in my stomach. So, oh, here we go. Ah, yeah, sort of. It's not the ideal hose. All right, well, all right, so I fit that on. I trimmed it a bit, just fit it on the bottom. Uh, and now just squeeze this one over. Yeah, see it's a little bit, when I take that off, it makes it a bit short. And yeah, it is hitting the, the alternator, so I got no extra, no extra length on it. All right, I mean, Yeah, that's the, the problem then is, yeah, just the length at the top. So I should have, shouldn't have trimmed it first. <laughs> I should have um, tried to put it on from the bottom first. It might have actually worked. Okay, so this is the solution I'm going to run with today. Water temp gauge sender adapter. I thought I could find an elbow somewhere, uh, but that proved to be fairly difficult. Uh, I need a Repco nearby, I think that would be a bit handier. So what I'll do is I'll, at least if nothing else, it gives me an opportunity to then put a water temp gauge in at a later date, but um, I can trim this out, have the adapter there, and then just work something out with the elbow just for that last part. But if you can find an elbow, I think that'll be the easiest. Stick that on the bottom, get a right angle elbow like that at a spot that you want it and then just get that hose trimmed or a similar shaped hose of that trimmed straight down and it should avoid the alternator. Nice little right angle. Move that whichever way I want and you can see there's a bit of clearance there from the alternator, right angle for the bottom. Pop this out, so we've got a bit more room. All right, that right angle's in. So yeah, that's not touching, but it's pretty damn close, so. I could work on that a little bit more, maybe this longer part go a bit further out. And if I could get a bend over there that sort of heads this way. Uh, so like, see how it's going straight? That bottom part's going straight. If it came out and sort of curved this way and then went up, like curved towards the fender and then went up, the inner fender and then went up, and then this was maybe a bit longer, you could get a bit more room there. Don't know how much of a problem that's gonna be, but it is. There's probably about five mil gap. I don't know if you can really see it on this in the video, but there's about a five mil gap there. So uh, it's close. So if I take the um, top off, that's what you can see. The gap is 
about that. There's a little bit less when I put the top hose on, but I'm going to get a, I'm going to cut out a, a longer piece to fit on there so that it holds it up in that spot as opposed to pulling it closer, which I think would just be better just to give it that little bit of extra clearance. Okay, so this one's a stock S15 one. Don't know if it's bottom or top, probably bottom. I'll cut it here. It's longer there, and then I'll give it a bit more length than the other one too. Trim the top off a bit. Let's see how this goes now. Yeah, still gonna need to trim the bottom too. Okay, so what I've found is you need something a bit more akin to a right angle than this. So it's not really a right angle, obviously. Is that like 45 degree? Or, sorry, what's the opposite? 90 plus 45, 135 degree um, angle. You probably need something a bit more 90 degree. This fits on fine. This one fits on fine at the bottom, like that, um, but, and I suppose if I attach it properly, it might be a bit easier to play around because it keeps popping off, but see how the angle there, like if it was a bit higher, because then it's gonna bend there anyway, which you don't really want, so this would need to be a right angle, so that's what I'll do. That's what I'll have to go get a right angle there, but we'll, we'll leave that for the moment. So anyway, I hope that answers the question, sort of. Um, there's still a bit more work to do around that. And because I'm going to take this radiator out when I fit the wiring, I don't want to worry about it too much at the moment. Uh, but that looks like there's a half decent solution there. Okay, I'm actually curious now to see how the intake and airbox is going to fit uh, with the radiator in. Oh, man, it's all pretty tight in this engine bay. Like it's not turbo. I mean, these are pretty tight, but I feel like the fit is not ideal. Turbo will blow some of these right off. Okay, safe to say it's very tight, but this hose will go on the intake at the bottom. I'm going to piss that off anyway when I get my ACU and the throttle bodies. The that um, what's it called? ICV spacer. Um, and this will fit right on there. So I'll just trim that now and stick it on and see how it looks. Perfect. Could trim a little bit more, but that's all right for now. Alright, that looks much neater. Just flows across the front there, right into the box. Definitely could just take off a little bit more there, but that's no big deal. Alright, we've got to get that right angle. Um, that's it for today. Next episode, because I can't do the floor, I'll refurb the dash. Give it a clean up, take out all the parts. I've got some new gauges to fit, uh, the new heater bit and pieces and put that all together so I'll, I'll make a video of that stay tuned see you next time